Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday night. We've got another fantastic subpixel stream for you. Joining me, as always, Will Crosby. How's it going, Will? It's going well. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, it's good. I'm doing good. Are you not supposed to say I'm doing good? Me do uh, good. You're doing, you're doing good if you're like donating philanthropy that sort of thing. i hate i hate well i'm doing good then um so we're gonna be playing some uh board games tonight uh not an official new year's resolution for me but i just want to play more board games it's hard with the pandemic so we're just going to be uh diving into tabletop simulator so the game we're going to be playing tonight is called Sp Splen splendar Sp splinter splendar yes, splenda we're playing, we're playing in your attic that's right. Uh, have Very you played this game be before, William? I have not. I've watched half of a video on how to play it. So I own this game. And I've played it twice in real life, but it was in the same sitting. Uh, it's basically two to four players. Uh, it's called an engine building game. Do you know about that, like, micro genre of, of board games? Engine building? Yeah, it, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Basically, how do I describe this without mentioning Factorio? Because I... It's really just Factorio. Okay, so let me put it this way. You know how <laughs> the beginning of Factorio, you have to collect wood to get mm -hmm. anything, to build anything. Mm -hmm. But then later in the game, you have so much basic resources that you never have to like manually collect it. So that's kind of what an engine building game is. It's basically you are building, you are collecting items or resources etc in a way such that you can spend more per turn later in the game um that's um, not a great way of explaining it but i feel like you got it um <laughs> so framework another one is is um civilization or no not seven wonders seven wonders is another yeah engine building game in a way because you are building up you're building you're collecting assets that allow you to spend more each turn to buy more assets um, okay, so this game is pretty simple. Um, basically, we're going to be collecting these tokens, using them to buy cards in the middle, and then those cards are going to give us... You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to hit game start so we get cards out here. Let's play a turn. So basically, we can... Um, we have four tokens of each color, plus five wild tokens. So on your turn, you can choose to take three gem tokens of different colors or you can take two tokens of the same color as long as there are four tokens when you start out with it. Um, and with those tokens, you can purchase one of these cards in the middle. The cards, basically, once you have them, they give you the, the resource in the top right. Um, so, for example, if I buy this card in the bottom right, then I would have a white all the time. So I would no longer need to spend a white token. I always have a white token, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, if the card has a number in the top left, that is a prestige point. And the first person to get 215 points, that turn, at the end of that turn, the game ends. Um, you also have these nobles up top, and how the nobles work is basically, at the end of your turn, if you can... If you have, based off of your cards, one of these resources, so if I ever have four black and four whites based solely off of the cards in front of me that I have, then this noble will visit me, they stay with me, and I get the prestige points for them. Um, these cards gotcha. replenish. You're always going to have a 4 by 3 grid. These nobles do not replenish. Um, the only other thing is basically, uh, let's say I really wanted this card, and I didn't want you to buy it, but I couldn't afford it yet. I could reserve that card, which means I put that card in my hand and uh, and I get one wild token. And you can have max three reserve cards in your hand. So on your turn, you basically get to choose take tokens reserve a, or reserve a card or buy a card from the center or buy a card from your hand and put it down in front of you. All right. So um, that being said, that kind of makes sense to you, buddy? Yeah, I'm into it. Okay. Um, I am going to... Blue player turn. Take two. Oh. oh, you son of a bitch. Red player turn. Okay, I am going to... Um... Hold 
back. White. Blue player turn. Okay. Hmm. Man, this is uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> annoying already. It's um, it's a pretty fun game. Yeah, I I realized I really love the engine building genre. Blue player turn. Dead about a card. The need to be at least four tokens left in the stack. Shut Take up, woman. <clears throat> Red player turn. Yeah, she's so. Okay, I'm going to do. I'm literally just playing on your side, so it's not upside down. <laughs> Blue player turn. Oh, what? What am I missing? You need two black. Oh, wait, which ones are black? The black ones, these. These ones? I, uh, didn't I buy those at the beginning? No. <laughs> I bought those at the beginning, and you got mad at me oh, for it. Oh, you know what? I bought, I bought blue. That's what I bought. <laughs> uh... You can only have a maximum of 10 gem tokens. Please return the excess. Amount. Oh, that's the other rule. I forgot. Yeah. Red player turn. Okay. Two. Oh, I don't. Blue player turn. Boy, I I realized I really love the engine building genre because you start cooking and then you're like, heck yeah. Red player turn. Okay, I am going to do. We're out of greens. Wow. Blue player turn. Red player turn. Blue player turn. Red player turn. <laughs> Blue player turn. You can only have a maximum of ten oh, gem no, tokens. Red player turn. Okay, let's see. What am I doing with my life? Uh, I need what? What? Am... It's hard to keep track of all this. Yeah, my brain hurts. That bottom right thing does help, though. Blue player turn. Yeah. Red player turn. Blue player I turn. I really should have picked one of these left guys. Uh. Red player turn. Sorry, taking a drink. Take that drink. We must daddy mommy. Blue player turn. Red player turn. Blue player I turn. I knew you were going to that one. What am I, what am I going for? <laughs> Jeez. Red player turn. Blue player turn. Red player turn. Blue player turn. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop making it my turn. <laughs> um, boy, some of these are getting expensive. Yeah. Red player turn. Okay. 
All right, time for me to start paying attention here. Um, this one, this one, and this one. Blue player's turn. Red player's turn. Blue player's turn. Red player's turn. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Um, I oh. forgot about reserving. Blue player's turn. Red player's turn. Blue player's turn. Red player's turn. I haven't even looked at your side of the board. How are you doing? Okay. I'm kind of just. I haven't. I haven't looked at my side of the board either. <laughs> kind of play by the seat of my pants. Yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, the I'm just playing by the the levels at the bottom. I feel like I feel like that would make it a lot easier, but I'm I'm just struggling to look at them. <clears throat> I just I can't read it upside down. So I <laughs> I should have picked this right hand side. That would have been perfect. I'm sorry, what do you mean you can't read it upside down? I can't read it upside down. Why are you upset by that? Well, this because is tabletop. Numbers? It's tabletop simulator. Oh, you mean the I centers? Know. The centers. What? Oh, the centers are not. You're talking about the center cards. No, I, I'm saying I can't read upside down, so I flipped the game, so I'm on your side. Yeah, yeah, it's the center cards yeah. that you have issues with. I thought you meant you weren't looking at your side because you didn't, you couldn't read your side upside down. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's honestly something I would do, too. I was like... <laughs> You're not far off. <laughs> uh, excuse me? But no... No, I'm reading the center right side up and then using the bottom thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes uh, sense. Anything you have to go back for, see how many cards you have. Hmm. Crap. What do you mean how many cards you have? All right, the cards are for the nobles, right? The three. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that isn't displayed down there. I'm not saying I, I'm getting a noble anytime soon. Oh, wow. You're beating me, buddy. Step um, to three right now. Wow. The need to be at least four tokens oh, shut up. I know that. I was being <laughs> stupid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she's so rude. Ugh. I know she's not real, but feels like she is. Red player turn. <laughs> Blue player turn. Red player turn. Blue player turn. Red player turn. <gasps> Blue player turn. Red player turn. Dang it. I was hoping you wouldn't see that. <laughs> That's a really good one. Blue player I know. I think, I think some of these... Have a maximum of 10 gem tokens. Please return the excess amount. I need to check, but I think some of the colors are less rare on cards. Red player turn. But I'm not certain. And I love those error in scripting pop pop ups. <laughs> Blue player turn. Red now the engine's turn. kicking, baby. Yeah. Blue player turn. Pretty good. Oh, see, I just got a noble. Because at the end of my turn. Oh, I... so they auto do it. They they auto do it and you gotcha, can't gotcha, you gotcha. can't deny them either. Oh, I'll deny them. <clears throat> I was gonna say this is the first thing we played here in Tabletop Simulator that's like high res. Oh yeah, yeah. Like these are like actually scanned in. Yeah. I think it was the Armada one was like gross. Uh, a lot here. I I'm genuinely enjoying this game. I know it's fun. I feel like there's a there's a good amount of depth to it once you start paying attention, which I'm not great at. So, oh, you piss boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. And a fish oh, boy. Oh, I can just straight up afford that. <laughs> oh, oh no. stupid. Blue player turn. 
It's getting tight. Yeah, the problem is I messed up. Oh, what? Oh, I misread it. I'm an idiot. Red player turn. Ooh. Blue player oh, turn. That's a good one. Red player turn. Excuse me. Um. Oh, there's no way I'm getting that. More that one. Uh, sorry, sorry, Daddy. It's okay, son. Daddy, I'm sorry. Blue play oh. turn. But. No, I know, I know. There has to be three. <laughs> Blue play a turn. Being stupid. Eyes are glazing over now. <laughs> Red player turn. Blue player turn. Game will end on Red's turn. Last chance to grab some points. Oh. You've, you've done. Oh, so I guess it doesn't end. Gem tokens. Please return the excess amount. It's like. uh, Yeah, you won. Dang it. Oh. I was about to get that guy. I'm going to check the rules just because I, I feel like when a player reaches 15 prestige points, complete the current round. Yeah. So because I went first, you go next. It's yeah. like um, Ticket to Rides that way. So what do you what do you think? I like this a lot. I, I do like it, too. I feel like it's very simple, so it's easy to get into. But man, do you just start like, oh, how do I keep track of this stuff? <laughs> this is you one know? of those games that I always see is like on sale. And I'm like, oh, I've never played it. But now I could be like, oh, I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I, I've only played it with two people. I wonder how crazy it would get with more people. Because with more people, there's, they up the number of tokens, they up the number of nobles. But it's still the same number of cards. All right, let's see. How do I? How do I? How do I reset this? Was it when I flipped the table? Is that what reset it last time? Oh. It did Whoa. not like that. It did not like that. Oh, it got dirty. There's a lot of tables. Got a little dirty, folks. Uh, my game's frozen. May have crashed the game. Let's see what happens. Mine is loving this. Is yours doing anything? Mine's just... It's, there's oh. about 18 tables. Mine just has an error message. And I'm pretty sure Tip Top Simulator crashed. Yes, it did. So let me reboot that and let's 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 play some more of. Uh... Yeah, I I I believe this one the the Spiel de Jar. This is one of those I don't want to say early games, but I... actually, you know what? When did this came out? Oh, I got disconnected from the lobby. Yeah, because my game crashed. I, know. I guess. <laughs> oh. I was waiting for that. Oh, this... now my game crashed. This is one of those fantastic oh. games that's like like an early um, board game darling. It won the Spiel de Jar, which is like the European board game award and all this stuff. So it's it's a lovely game. I I love this genre, though. Yeah. What other games are in this genre? Um... There's one called uh, Race Race for the Galaxy. There's um, Race for the Galaxy is like you're building. You're saying like, I'm going to build a constructor. I'm going to build a galaxy relay. And then you're like, it's like a sci-fi theme. It's all card based. So you're building stuff. Excuse me. There's San Juan, which I have, which is very good. Um, there is also. Um. Oh, shoot, Maki Koro. I have that. That's a good one. There's oh, also. I have played that before. Oh, man, what's the what's the fast food restaurant one? You know what I'm talking about? Um, Overcook. Okay, this is better. This is much better. Let me uh, 
so I can actually see my screen. I, I know I have it in here. We're not going to play it today because it's a crazy game, but crazy big long game. But it's um basically where you're running a fast food restaurant and you're like advertising to the neighborhood and you're like hiring like a new cook who specializes in hot dogs. So then you advertise hot dogs in the neighborhood and that brings in more money. So then you hire like a, an HR person so that you can pay your employees less, like all this crazy stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you get to go first. See, I made it so now my board's right here so I can see both at the same time. Mm. Okay. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head, and folks, I'm it's hard. To really fast. Um. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Oh, I just realized it highlights the cards you can afford. Yep. Yep. Sure does. That just just popped in. That's great. What good game design. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Pink player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Hmm. <laughs> Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Hmm. <laughs> Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. You can only have a maximum of 10 gem tokens. Red player turn. 10 gem tokens. Pink player turn. Karen, this game's good. We're going to buy it. Red it's called turn. Splendor. Uh, it's the turn. sequel to Splenderman. Red player turn. Yeah, that's a good joke. Pink player turn. And I want you to know that I took my dairy pills, but it is not stopping these gnarly farts. <laughs> I just wish, because if we were in the same room, you'd be smelling them. I just want oh you to know God. you're missing out. I think the last time I played Twilight Imperium, I just wouldn't stop farting. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You're a little. I almost bought fourth edition. It was ninety five, and I was like, "Oh, uh, that's that's good price." I was like, "I I I promised myself I will buy it once, like we could meet up and play board games again." But you know, what I was thinking have... is not anytime soon, but before I leave, we should do Twilight oh, Imperium yeah. in the studio. And stream the entire 
think. That's a very good idea. Front. In front of these? Uh, Ian's currently winning. I want in front of <laughs> Give me these. these. In front of these. Red player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Man, they are like dealing Pink out these cards. Turn. Oh. Oh, I, I haven't even looked at the nobles until Red just now. <laughs> okay. I want... You. Player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. <laughs> Man, they really, really know Pink music. Player this turn. Red player thing. turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Ooh, this is good. Daddy likes this. This is good. I'm very into it. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Oh, I got noble. Red player turn. Did you get yeah, noble too? Was... Oh, yeah, you I just did. One. I was trying to get the one you Pink just did. Turn. There we go. There are no more white cards. Oh, yeah. You... Dang it. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Yay! Oh. Dag nabbit! I feel like right now this game is like 25% of the time I'm paying attention and strategizing and 75% of the time I'm just buying whatever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get better at it. All right, uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna look up real quick how to reset. Oh, God, it is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I adjusted my. I like moved my butt a little bit, and it all came crashing out. Who? Games. Recently loaded. Not I guess I just butt. reloaded. <laughs> Player turn. Oh, dope. Pink player string. Zoom in a little bit. Who in the pink? Splendor in the cheeks. <laughs> cheeks. Splendor in the cheeks. What does that mean? Oh, the splendor is in the cheeks, Ian. <laughs> Out here tonight, folks, the splendor is in the cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Holy it's your turn, moly. right? I know. Okay, wait. Let me zoom in on the cards and I'll let me really pay attention here. Red player turn. Oh, you absolute bastard. I hit the you wrong button. <laughs> absolute dog turd. Pink player turn. Oh, I'm such a dweeb. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Red player turn. <sighs> Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Pink player turn. Pinky player turn. No, oh, shut up, I know. Token. Red player turn. <laughs> 
Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Ooh. Okay. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. <sighs> Man, I gotta hop back on that Minecraft server. It's been a bit. Yeah, I haven't been on in a couple of days. I spent several hours digging a like a canal Red to cut across turn. the landmass so that it's a little bit easier to get to the ocean from our place. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's all I cool. That's all I've done recently. I've been kind of like, I, I'm bouncing between games now after playing Cyberpunk. Like I went and played a couple short games to like get the like completion loop out of the way. Yeah, um, I think I might start up Dragon Quest now. Pink player turn. Well, you're going to play the very first one. I've heard the very first one is good and everything after that is not worth playing. I'm going to play the 11, which is the one. Oh, I'm that, sorry. Like, one. I thought you were saying Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Yeah, Dragon I'm actually, Age. it's funny you mentioned that because I was talking to Chris about Dragon Age today. He said one in th one in Inquisition are the good ones. Two is just not great at all. Yeah, I, I was always hesitant of Inqui Well, Grant, I've never played any of them, so these are outside opinions. But I was always hesitant of Inquisition because it looked like they just kind of turned it into like uh, an action RPG, an yeah. open world action RPG type thing. And I was like, that doesn't seem right for this game. Yeah, That's I'm trying to decide if I would enjoy work. them enough to on my own or the enjoyment would come partly from playing them and partly from streaming them. Yeah. Although I did come up with some good stream names, including Breath of the Will, uh, mm. where I play Breath of the Wild, which isn't that great. I, and sorry, then, great name. Not crazy about yes. streaming that game. Well, my only idea was to play it on an emulator and add a mod every every episode <laughs> without telling anyone. Okay, now I'm in. Now I'm in. <laughs> and then the other one was Chrono Triggered, where you play Chrono Trigger and you say hot takes the entire time. <laughs> I think we both know that's going to get us in trouble. As great as that idea is. Um, no, but I, I might do Will's first JRPG and play Chrono Trigger. Because it's like a set amount of time. It's like 11 hours. Yeah. Um, I think that's turn. a good idea. Oh. Pink player turn. And I really like the Zelda mod one. Because I think yeah, that's a good that idea. is a chance to be very funny. What am I taking you? Turn. Pink player turn. Red player 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 turn.
Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Oh, damn, you got a noble. Nice job. Red player turn. It's trying to click during your turn. Don't you dare click during my turn. turn. What's going on? It's broken. Don't click during my turn. Damn, you got two nobles. I'm not doing great this, this time around. Pink I, I didn't need that, but I wanted it anyways. Checkmate. <laughs> I know. I'm just over here. I went after. The, I just went after nobles. <laughs> Uh, Once I realized they were like kind of close in uh, what you needed for them. Yeah. Like one was three of three, and then the other one was just four of two of the same ones. Mm. Gotcha. So I feel like you can really <clears throat> bank on that if it happens. Yeah. I was like, my strategy that time was like, don't buy the easy cards. And then I. And then yeah, I, I kept waiting for a red, and then it, my brain just went, you know, you can buy the non-bottom row red ones. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept waiting for them. Stupid idiot. Are you going to start the game? No. Why not? You go first. It says waiting for host to start game. Oh, wait, does it really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to reload it then. <laughs> <laughs> We're both sitting here thinking the other guy's the idiot. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm hit game start. Okay, now. Okay. All now right. I am, wait, I gotta reposition my whole camera again because it changes. I know I gotta reposition my whole strategy. Dang it! <laughs> you just thought I was giving you so much time. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Why did I? Red player turn. Pink player turn, red player turn. Pink player turn, red player turn, pink player turn. Kind of sounds like she's saying pink play a turn. Not pink player, player turn. turn. Yo, that pink player turn. <laughs> Yo, pink player. It's your turn. Man, this should sell announcer packs for this game. Pink player turn. When do you think the great copyright strike of Tabletop Simulator happens? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of like ebooks where there's just not really anybody enforcing it. I don't know if you've pirated an ebook, but it's very easy <laughs> it seems very easy incredibly easy i'm talking about like a website that is basically just like hey what book do you want and you type it in and they're like well here's 20 different versions of it <laughs> and then you just click download <laughs> you like spanish <laughs> you don't have to torrent you don't have to win zip anything you don't have to like go through ads it's literally just like a website that is google for ebooks that's great um, I'm sorry. Let me pay attention real quick. What am I doing? Yeah, I, I tend to nowadays steal things that are just stupid to pay for. 
Like there's yeah. a movie I really want on Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray is fifty six dollars, and I yeah, refuse to pay that much money for it. That's stupid. I recently pirated something that I I felt okay. It was a movie that Maggie wanted to watch. It wasn't on any streaming service and has never been on any streaming service. It it was not for sale on Amazon. Like I could not find a DVD copy in stock anywhere. And I found one pirated copy with like one cedar and it took a month to download it. <laughs> I was astonished that it never finished downloading. Yeah, the one I was getting was a me and a guy supposedly in France and it took like six, seven hours. Yeah. For like two gigabytes. Pink player turn. Uh, I've lost track of what I'm doing, but it's okay. Yeah, I kind of did too. Red player turn. Oh. Man, I had some kimchi with dinner, and now every burp tastes like kimchi. Oh. Just overpowered my life. There's nothing there, bud. Damn it. Just clicking in the void. Red player turn. Uh, Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Oh. Yeah, this game is great. Oh, there's also a little koala. Is he part of the game or? He's not part of the game. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he cheating? Hang on. Wait, didn't I? How do I? Are we live yet? Yes. Did the game just rewind? No. I feel like last turn I took two browns or blacks, whatever it is. Anyways, I'm just going to pretend that it didn't. Um... There's not an undo key, is there? Pink player turn. I don't think so. Red player turn. Oh, why did I do that? Stupid Pink idiot. Player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Oh, you're ready to go. Red player turn. Pink player turn. How do I? How do I breathe? Red player turn. Pink player turn. I feel like as we're getting better at this game, we're not having as many. You have too many tokens. Why? Well, it was kind of only you that was doing that. So. Red player turn. I feel like as we're getting better at this game. <laughs> Pink player turn. Dang it. Stop stealing all my whites. <laughs> hey, hey. Whoa. 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 Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Dang it! <laughs> Do you realize what just happened? I'm, what? I'm pretty sure you were going for the same card I was, and I realized you could buy it first, so I just reserved it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Oh. I'm going for a different card. <laughs> oh. But that would have been funny. Pink player turn.
Red player turn. Pink player turn. Mm. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Dang, you're up to nine already? Red player turn. Son. Dim sum. Uh I've been a lot of lower tier black stuff. What is it what is it to zoom in again? I thought it was alt. Scroll wheel? No, I mean like you hold it over something. Oh, it's alt, but it doesn't work on these cards. It is alt. It's weird. Alt Cunningham. What would oh, you have boy. done if her if you went into that and she said, No, my name is now Alt Control Delete? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would have loved that. I would have loved that. Call me delete. Alt control delete. 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 Delate. Ah, you butthole of Arendi. You're not getting any of these nobles, dingus. I know, because there's no... Oh, <sighs> butts. Red player turn. Oh, crap, I wanted that. Pink player turn. Red player turn. What do you get if you reserve something and it's still in your hand? It's not like you lose points, do you? No, I don't think you lose points for that. Pink you player turn. Essentially lose a turn. Red player yes. turn. Yeah, because it does eat up a turn to do that. What am I missing? Uh, that's what I'm missing. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Oh. 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 Yes. It's a draw. Oh, was it a draw? Yeah, look. We have a draw. Because we got to say that. It says it in the chat, bottom left. Oh, I didn't see it. Because oh. I, I got I got 15. I, I, th I thought I had enough to get yeah. this card here. Oh, but I didn't count right. We're getting a lot better at this. This is good. One more? Yeah, let's do 10 more. <laughs> 10 more? Hey, let's do one more. We'll take a break, and then we see if we want to keep playing. Mm. Oh! Red player turn. Um, should we talk about Thursday? Let's talk about Thursday. Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Oh, I get to go first. I feel like that hasn't happened before. Okay. Um... <laughs> Can't right. talk while it's your turn. I know. I know, I'm trying to think. Pink player turn. I should have looked up there first. Yeah. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Wait. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I still can't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
I feel Jeez. this game plays probably much faster here than it would in person because you have to like grab the card and put it. Well, in well, the other thing is that you have to do math constantly. Like this tells you when you can buy a card. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pink take player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Um. Red player turn. Okay. All right. What am I doing again? Gosh darn it! What am I doing again? Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Uh. You can only have a maximum red player turn. <laughs> okay. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player oh, turn. we need like a commenter. Red commentator. What? What am I doing? Try and reserve a noble. <laughs> I, I want like this one. This one, please. Mommy, I want this one. Oh my god. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Oh. Red player turn. Huh. I was not expecting my turn to come that quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Pink player turn. Hmm. Yeah, we should try to play Race to the Galaxy. It's a bit more complicated, but it's the same type of thing where you're red player turn. You're building up resources. Red player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. <laughs> <laughs> Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn.
Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. <laughs> Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Wait, what was that? Oh, oh it's three taking three guy. black. I thought it was I thought it was red. I thought I was gonna get him as soon as I clicked it, but I guess not. Pink I'll get that turn. guy. Red player turn. Okay. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Pink player turn. Red player turn. Dang, you got the other nope. Dang boy. Dang boy. What you doing? Red player turn. Pink player Winning. Ah, oh, fourteen yeah. to sixteen. Ah, uh, let's. I thought a, I was getting a car to turn early. Let's take a little break here. Oh. Let's, let's talk about Thursday. Thursday, thirsty Thursday. What's Thursday? Well, Thursday is our new podcast show news. New show. Guys. It's called new show. New show. I don't think. Well, we, it's, it's, I, I don't want to call it a podcast because it's not a podcast. It's a video. Yes, it'll eventually go up on a feed of some sort, but it is a news slash researched section video thing so what's the format I, let me just say this is all will so if you hate it you know who to blame this is will show you, um, you blame my parents so format we never really decided on any of this so what's the format and who's the host format currently is 15 to 20 ish minutes of news i'm shooting for an hour yeah, if we go over, good. that's fine. But we're shooting for an hour. Okay. 15 to 20 ish minutes of news. So that is I'm probably going to pick like four, three or four news stories that I find interesting for the week. Uh, and then or I, I might have like someone else or you do it at some point um, like flip flop. Going to pick those stories. We go through each of them. I read the headline, give you the notes. We discuss it for a second. Boom. Next one. Boom. Next one. Boom. Next one. The second half of the show. Real quick, real quick, hot tip. I think it would be good to have that. The news stories that are picked out in the open to the guests before the podcast, just in case they're like, oh, I heard something. Let me look it up to make sure I have it right before I bring yeah. it up, you know. Okay. <laughs> God yes. bless you, I guess. So second half of the show is a deep dive or a researched thing that one person brings to the table and teaches the other two people who are there. That's 45 um, minutes? Uh, I was thinking of doing half an hour, half an hour, but I'm like, again, I'm shooting for an hour, which is like... Yeah, okay, so here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm not crazy because it sounds like these are two different shows. I mean, it's one show. But I mean, if I... if coming at it like it's a, like it's a podcast in a way it's like does this show do the weekly news or does it do a deep dive on a topic and i think either of them work individually you know because like um i'm trying to think of something like something like this american life etc where they, they kind of have a topic or a theme and they deep dive into that or something like bombcast beastcast where they kind of just go over the news for the week those work individually, but I, I think it's going to be a little weird to have a book report in the back half. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I I'm kind of based it off of the tech pod, which is kind of like this. They do like they talk about current things and then they do like one big thing about mm -hmm. like they might do like batteries or a big thing about computing in the 90s okay, and stuff like that. 
So it's kind of like you're there for a little bit of news. And then if you're interested in the subject, you keep listening. If you're yeah. not, you can kind of. Maybe part of it is what's out. the topic? Like, give me give me examples of topics that would be dove. Into. Uh, topics, you could have someone come on and talk about what it is to be a like video game reviewer. What's your day in, day out, all that sort of stuff. How long do you play a game? Or you could have someone come in and talk about what it's like to develop a rogue. rogue okay, wait a minute. Game. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are these interviews or book reports? Because what you're describing it, are interviews. Yes, but it's also like, hey, Ian knows a lot about Yakuza. He's going to spend a whole week researching a bunch more about it and then tell us about like the history of Yakuza. Like what or something you're interested. So it's. Yeah, changes like week to week. This is soft launch, folks. Uh, so the good news is we can kind of tweak the format as we go along. Because I'm, I think this is going to require a little bit of like. Have you ever heard the show The Dollop? No. So The Dollop, they basically do. They tell stories from American history. Like, have you ever heard of Moving Day? No. Will you're going to find this crazy? So literally, this is not an exaggeration. Up until about 1900, the entirety of New York, all leases in New York ended on the same day, and. It was common for you not to know where you were living, where your next place was going to be, whether it was going to be the same place or a different place. So there was literally a tradition in New York. This is not an exaggeration where 99 percent of people moved out of their apartments on the exact same morning. And tried to find and sign a new place by that evening. So literally <laughs> the entire the entirety of Manhattan was moving on the exact same day. And they were just, just like, it's moving day. It's when all the moving companies are business. Like all the streets are clogged with people with their furniture. You would literally just wake up, take all your stuff downstairs, try and negotiate with your landlord. If you can't, you'd run around trying to find a new landlord and then move in. But literally everybody is doing it. So so the dollop is an American history podcast where they do stories like that. Like so imagine like a 90 minute episode of them like telling the story of this right so so that works well i just i don't think that works that format would not work if at the beginning of it they're like discussing current news in chit chat format for 20 minutes and then all of a sudden somebody has a book report you know so it's not like i'm against the book report idea i just i don't i think it's a bit of a mishmash yeah that's fine i i, I think it'll work out yeah we could try it we can try it yeah, because I don't give a rat's ass about news, so I would just do the book report one. Yeah, whereas me, I think I, I what I really like about being on a podcast is that you can probably tell, and we, we're struggling with this during this very episode, is there are things we want to talk about gaming-wise. Did you see this news? I've been playing this game, etc. And for yeah. me, a gaming podcast is more is more about that. It's people discussing the gaming industry. Uh, different takes different takes but i think i think we can definitely try so what's thursday's topic and who's doing it uh you don't learn the topic until the episode okay that's fair um okay and then the only thing that's left up in the air as far as i'm concerned is the name right yeah pretty much i added a few more so folks, if you are interested in that, it will be live 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. We're going to be doing a live to archive. That's that's a, that's the right way of saying it, right? Because we've talked about this before. Live to tape doesn't mean you're broadcasting it live. It just means that it's uncut. This is correct. Yeah. So what would you call it when it's? I guess it'll just be an archive, right? I mean, it's still kind of live to tape. Yeah. The but, archive but the, version is live to tape. Yeah. It will be live, but we will also be recording it for later. It's going to be a start. We're going to try and do it weekly every Thursday. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, we're not sure who's the regular guest on it. We're not even sure regular format. We're going to be trying things out. We're not even sure the name, although we're going to try and settle that by Thursday. We're just letting okay. you know, you know, Will and I, we, we have things we want to talk about on a weekly basis, reactions to the news, our gaming stuff, etc. And uh, this is just a place for us to do it, basically taking over that Thursday night streaming slot. Um, so I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm very excited. 
Yeah. He's so big. Who heard that episode? I guess I'm on that episode. Yeah, you uh, and then uh, a tentative. I have a tentative third person. Okay. Tentative. Yeah. Nothing special. No, no guests. I didn't want to book anyone for a first episode. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That sounds good. Um, folks, I think that's going to do it for us here tonight. Um, if you enjoyed this, you can go to subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube page where you can watch all of our stream archives as well as all sorts of documentaries, interesting deep dives into Lego games, into online shooters, into retro games, all sorts of stuff like that. Dwarf Fortress, RimWorld. Um, if you want to see more of me, you can find me on Twitter at ThinkGibson. If you want to see more of Will, you can see Will on Twitter at Hunt270. You can also see Subpixel at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch. Uh, we like to post about a lot of stuff, share other people's stuff, uh, tease upcoming streams. Next stream, tomorrow night, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, we have a Kyle stream. Not sure what he's doing Yay. yet because he finished Cyberpunk, so maybe he's going back to Kyle Emblem. Uh, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, we talked about it. We're going to be doing a podcast. TBD well, cast. Well, well. TBD cast isn't bad, now that I say Ooh, it out loud. It's not bad. TBD cast. Anyways, uh, folks, thank you guys so much for joining. Will, thanks for playing. Splendor, yeah, great game. I think we should play more game. tabletop sim with more people. <gasps> Ten people. Okay, that's a bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye.